Welcome to today's lesson. We have learned how to write information books. We have done things like sketching a page, writing a page, and repeating. We have learned how to share a book with our teacher and make new pages and make new books. So far we have two books, and today we're going to take all that we've learned and make a new book with specific details. You'll know that you have succeeded if you've done these six things. Now, that's a long, long things, a lot of things, but most of these are things you have already learned how to do, so don't worry about it too much. Remember, you are going to choose a new topic. Share your book with your teacher. Those should be easy. Check, check. Easy to do. Um, sketch a page, write a page, and repeat. You should be able to use the whiteboard app by now to sketch a page and the uh, slides app to write a page and repeat. Today's main thing that you will know that you need to do is to write with detail, okay? We're going to talk about how to write with exact names, numbers, colors, sizes, shapes, quotes, and more. So uh, at the end, you will need to write two pages in your book and Zoom your teacher for feedback. If you are done later than 1050 in my classroom, you will need to email it to me, and keep working, okay? I expect you to have four pages with details. Do not use not being done at 1050 as an excuse for not finishing your work. Today's book comes with four, de four pages or else, okay? If you don't get it done in writing time, you finish it after you are at home and you can do that. All right, enough lecturing for me. Let's get it on. Okay, so your first task today is to choose a new topic. Well, Mr. Davis and I have already written two books. I've written about everything I, I like. Well, here we go. You are going to think about something that you can teach us, okay? You can teach us about lots of kinds of things. What kinds of things do you do? Well, maybe you walk the dog. You can teach me about walking the dog. You could teach me about working on a computer, okay? How does your computer work? You could teach me about places that you go. What are places that you have visited or that you visit all the time? Maybe you visit family in a different country. Or maybe you visit the store. Okay? Maybe you visit the mall. All kinds of things. You can, you can teach this person that reads your book about anything. Okay? So in a moment, we're going to pause the video. And in my classroom, we're going to turn and talk. And we're going to come back with some topics. Okay. Uh, hopefully, Mr. Davison, remember to make you turn and talk, and we're back, and you have a topic, and you're ready to go. Boosh. All right, you have a topic. Now, pause the video again. We're going to make a new book and share it with your teacher. Make sure the title starts with your name. In my class, you have to have your name as the first thing on your title, or else. And then it includes your new topic. Okay, so put the title as, like, um, James and uh, the Mall. Okay, it does not have to say information book anymore. I, I got it. Just put your name and the topic in your title and share it with me. Okay, go. All right, welcome back. Cool, that was easy. All right, now the meat of today. What are we talking about? Well, we're talking about writing with specific details. Take a look at the wor words on the left and the words on the right and tell me, if you will please, which one is more enjoyable to read. Here we go. Dogs are nice. They have legs and fur. Uh, they are pets. Okay, well, it was short. That was nice. Let's look at this one on the right. Dogs are amazing animals. They have four legs, unless they lose a leg, with four paws. Their front feet have five toes and five claws, and their back feet have four paws and four claws. Their fur can be long, medium, or short, or completely missing. It can be yellow, black, brown, and even red. Dogs are animals that help humans in all kinds of ways. Some are just friends, while others help find lost people or look for illegal items like bombs or drugs. Woo! And that person wrote a lot of really fascinating information about dogs. And you would think dog was a boring topic just from reading over here. But no, there's all kinds of things that we can learn about dogs. Many, many things. Many specific details. What kinds of specific details do you notice here? Do you notice anything that this person is doing? I'm noticing the person using numbers. Okay? The person is using specific colors. We could maybe add something like specific names for jobs for dogs. They didn't have the names for those. Maybe they could look them up. There are all kinds of ways to make something specific, okay? So, um, take a look here, and I want you to practice with me making this a little bit more specific, okay? Here we go. Mexican food comes from Mexico. There are lots of different kinds of food. They taste interesting. They're made out of different ingredients. Hmm... Okay, 
each of these sentences contains an opportunity to make the, the, the writing more specific. Okay, let's take a look. First sentence, pause the video, see if you can come up with something more interesting to say than Mexican food comes from Mexico. How can we be more specific? Okay, so maybe you thought, well, we can, we can come up with different places in Mexico that it comes from. Mexican food comes from Oaxaca, Mexican City, the Yucatan. There's all kinds of places in Mexico. Maybe you don't know those places, but if you did, you could be more specific there. Okay, so we could talk about names. We could add names. There are lots of different kinds of food. Okay, can you think of a way to make that more specific? Right, we could give examples or names of different kinds of food, right? We could say there are tacos, there are tortillas, there are quesadillas, there are lettuce and tomato in the, in the food. There are all kinds, there are tortas, right? There is pozole, the soup, all right? There's all kinds of different foods. We can make, name examples of different foods. They taste interesting. Okay, now it's time to get some flavors. Give me some flavors. Can we add some flavors to this? Okay. They're made out of different ingredients. Okay, um, what kinds of ingredients are they made out? Give examples or names of the ingredients. Make it more interesting. We could talk about the colors or the numbers of ingredients. We could talk about, what else have we got here? Exact names, numbers, colors, sizes of the ingredients, sizes of the food, shapes of the food. We could talk about the tortillas are round and the tortas are little sandwiches. Okay, you could even make, give quotes. You could add somebody talking about the food um, that you found on a website or in your research. Okay, there are all kinds of things. So let's try it. Let's actually do this. Mexican food comes from all over Mexico. North, south, east, and west. See how I even, if I don't know the names of these places, I can even still include something more specific, right? I can include all the directions. There are lots of different kinds of food. There are many foods. And now I can say like tacos, burritos, quesadillas, pozole. Okay, we can go on. Mexican food has lots of different flavors. What are some flavors that you can find in Mexican food? You can find spicy, salty, sweet, and sour, especially sour. I love sour Mexican food. Okay, and I could even go into what kinds of food are the different flavors. And we can even say what the different ingredients are. But you get the idea, okay? I want you to take any writing that you have in your work today after you start writing your pages and I want you to go back and add these details, okay? On the Canvas page there's going to be a checklist of different things that you can add, things, and that's also going to be here at the end of my video. So here it is. Here's your exit ticket. I want you to be able to check off all five of these things before you Zoom your teacher for feedback. I chose a new topic, I shared a new book. I sketched a page, wrote a page, and repeated. I wrote with detail. Here's your checklist. Make sure you have exact names. What are those people called? What are those animals called? What are those foods called? Give me the names. Give me numbers if you have numbers. Give me colors if you can think of colors that these are. Sizes, shapes, or quotes, okay? And then your last thing to check off is did you write two pages? Okay, try to write two pages before you Zoom your teacher. If you got two pages, the teacher will have something to work with and we'll be able to say, give you lots of good feedback, okay? If you don't get this done in my class before 1050, you're emailing it, and then you're gonna keep working, okay? I want you to keep working. I will do my best to get you some feedback later, but I need you to have a nice long book with four pages by tomorrow so that we can get together and get feedback and revisions from our classmates, okay? So you have to have those four pages or it's a problem, all right? That's your goal is to get those four pages so that you can really have something to chew on with your classmates. All right, I'll see you on Zoom in a few minutes. And then if I don't see you, then I will see you at 11 o'clock for our session together. Bye.